Yo, 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 how's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome, and I am doing a streamcast, believe it or not. Isn't that crazy? It's been a while. It's been a long time, and I felt, you know, I've seen quite a few people say, hey, when are you going to do some more casting, scrimcasts, videos, just post them to your YouTube, whatever, and I'm just like, haven't done it in a long time, school makes me busy, all this sort of stuff, but currently on winter break, so I felt, you know what, let's cast this thing, why not? Uh, tonight we have Insidious versus the Vanquerers. Um, now, real quick, both of them are not going to have a ban tonight. So we're pretty much going to be looking at almost any map that that could be possible to play. You know, you can play any map right now. So both teams do not have a ban. But as you can tell by our background, our first map of the night out of three are going to be Downfall. The nice, large map. Deserty, sandy, really open. Got to really work as a team to get around this map. So it's going to be interesting to see how these teams play together. Both of these teams are pretty high in the, in the, in the standings right now. Um, both kind of just making a name for themselves uh, this season. Uh, before this season, they both were, uh, you know, not really up there before. So we're going to see how these, uh, these top playing teams compete in the scrim tonight uh thank you everyone for watching looks like cj hubs has got themselves a fan uh right now insidious on their roster has rambo texas murder cult pastor pound and wind i'm just gonna say that their name is wound because it looks close enough to being wound so we're gonna call him wound on Vankerers, they're still getting their players in, but at the moment we've got CJ Hubs and God of Shinobi. So, so far, two pretty good players that I've played with quite a while. I've also played with multiple players on Insidious quite a few times. All around great, great players. Uh, once again, thank you guys for coming in here. Thank you, Whiskey for me for the follow, and uh, Zikari is, or Zikar is cute. I think is how it's pronounced. I appreciate for the follows, everyone. I do have the notifications and alerts turned off for this scrim, just so it doesn't show up on the screen and distract us from what is really happening. But for our first objective on downfall, we are gonna be playing at the Northwestern two-story helicopter building, as many people like to refer to it. This one is a very difficult objective to defend when you are one up. So I think Vancouver's goal right now is to be able to really keep more than one person alive on defense. If you can have two players alive on defense tucked in, it's going to make this a very, very difficult objective to really approach and attack. Um, really the reason why is because on this objective you can approach and cap it from the basement as well as you can cap it from the outside and there's not really one great position to to watch both angles from the closest one's going to be in that white tower in the northwest road aside from that you know if you have two players playing you know playing uh secure not peeking that makes it really difficult for the marsock as well to really approach this because one they may not know where these two defenders are and and two it's going to make sure they have to put themselves in risky positions when really trying to uh get to this objective uh, but one thing that marsak could do is kind of try and narrow down the possibilities of where these two volk players could be that are tucked in and utilize a lot of smoke to secure that objective and possibly get in for a cap uh, it's going to take a lot of a lot of uh, power and teamwork to kind of accomplish that um now, Vanquerers could easily decide not to play tight, not to tuck in, and maybe play a little more aggressive here, try to get some early picks, uh, get Insidious to play a little bit more on the um, risky side. But we are going to be hopping in to the first round. Let's go ahead and hop to our live screen here. And here we are. We got Vanquerers, where we got Velux. Venom, God of Shinobi, Chaui, and CJ Hubs. Let's go ahead and see what Insidious is going to do here. They do have the southeastern spawn here. So they're going to be playing out of Marsoc spawn. 
looks like we got two players going to be taking a high ground position trying to see if they can spot any rotations coming from that defense meanwhile we do have a pretty pretty tight defense going on here so far you can kind of see that they're all pretty close to each other shots are trading out between texas and god of shinobi neither one landed any shots but god of shinobi is going to be trying his best to to get the peak here oh and the headshot from texas gets god of shinobi down now i wonder if texas was able to make a call out and knowing that he confirmed that player i mean when you only get a couple shots off you know one two it, it, you can't always can you can't always be sure that one of them were a headshot you know so i'm pretty sure right now they they think one's down inside middle hotel but i don't think they know for sure if he's dead that was a great shot by texas and texas is taking a pretty interesting position here cj is kind of camouflaged into that helicopter but we do have a drone going out as well so a lot of these volk players are gonna have to try and shoot down that drone otherwise insidious is gonna get some good call outs coming in not sure if they were able to get that drone down a couple shots rang out texas is shooting and moving up cj just misses texas texas is calling out cj's position here will he be able to get the shot or will cj get that shot off first oh and he just misses texas barely with the headshot cj's gonna have to watch out as he does have eyes coming in from uh wound over here and speaking of which wound does find cj hubs sorry for that uh, cj's fan but you've just witnessed a murder over here by wound it's 5v3 and insidious are playing very well right now they do have to worry about phenom in this back over here um but ooh, we do have a nice shot from velux and pastor gets the refrag you know when you're when you're exposed in that tower it, it can be very easy to spot that player so you know you got to make sure you know how to play the position pretty well chowie is getting suppressed over here on the objective right now the front of the objective is completely exposed phenom is not able to watch it and nor is chowi so we could possibly see a cap if insidious tries to take that approach on that objective um we do have some smokes raining in here gonna block one of the views of that fence i didn't quite reach the objective like texas was hoping but we got a couple more smokes coming out from murder phenom's gonna rotate and get towards that objective so, oh great smoke right there phenom's gonna try and go for these shots here does not find texas chowie does find murder though will the call out be enough chowie also down, finds pastor making it a 2v2 a little bit of panic is all vancouver's needed to kind of bring this uh this map or this round specifically back in uh back on equal terms Shots going out on Wound, giving Phenom the moment to rotate back around. Oh, and Texas finds Phenom on the rotate all up to Chowie. Chowie's going to try and peek this corner, taking the shots onto Texas with, I believe, that's the new AK-104. By the sounds of it, Chowie's out here on the objective, making sure that no one is capping very smart going to play very aggressive here to try and get some picks off texas i don't think texas is going to be aware of it but texas is inside the helicopter so texas does have a little bit of cover here chowie's very very exposed and i think any minute now chowie might want to rotate back towards that objective make sure someone's not going into that basement uh unless chowie's very very confident that texas is the last one up wound team kills texas Oh, and the trade, but Vankerers win all because of a team kill. Wow. That was a little bit of luck over there on Vankerers' side. It was not leaning in their favor, but luckily, Chowie pulled in the clutch with the three piece at the end. We're going to go ahead and update the score for map one away team, giving them the first point. That was pretty good. Uh, Chowie's got three kills already 
on one round, Texas with two kills, Pastor and Wound and Valix with one as well. Welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you guys for stopping in. I can see we got quite a few more viewers already in here. Appreciate everybody watching. Uh, let me guys, let me know if you guys want to see some more uh, scrim casts um, coming from this channel. Uh, might not be as frequently as I used to do it, but I'm fine with doing one every every now and then when I've got the time, just like today. So we're gonna we're gonna see how Insidious plays this objective. I've never seen Insidious play Onward at all, but I've heard a lot about them. So I'm I'm really curious to see. You know, are they gonna play? A tight defense I mean we can kind of see from Vancouver's it did not play that tight I mean when I saw said it in the beginning it looked like they were tight but playing tight also means you're not overly peaking you're not peaking corners that are heavily exposed or giving yourself away you know playing tight means that you're close to that objective but you're also not exposing yourself in unnecessary positions and so forth Oh, wrong screen. There we go. So, sound like Murder was saying that this is a very common objective for them to get capped on. So, um, in that case, Murder is going to be sitting in the objective uh, basement. Rainbow is going to be sitting across from the objective in lower red truck building basement, watching that objective. Pastor is going to be in the white tower. Wound's going to be over here on the little west bungalow. And Texas is going to be inside Middle Hotel first floor. So this one right here, I mean, now this is what you consider a semi-decent tight objective. You've got Rambo and Murder, the two players who are playing it pretty pretty tight. And Texas, at the same time, you can also consider a, a decently tight player. He's not he's not peeking to the many windows. He's staying in one spot, holding the angles. Um, and Texas, you just had to prove me wrong. He's moving around. Okay, cool. <laughs> um... Looks like we did have a drop, though, coming in from Vancouver's. So, we... Seems to be that we've lost Chowie, actually. Their, their current clutch player at the moment. Now, it looks like Vancouver's are trying to play a little bit slow. Trying to figure out where this defense is. God of Shinobi is making his way around in that South Valley. And Phenom... I believe is trying to see if they can spot where Texas is inside middle hotel. She does call him out. She calls out one in middle hotel. Let's see how uh, Shinobi approaches this. He's crossing the street in the west and Wound does not seem to be prepared. Valix does find Pastor though in that tower. You know, that was Pastor's last spot last map. So, I'm sh you know, it makes sense that he would check that angle. All right, Shinobi taking oh, shots at Wound. And he shot at a fence. Oh, man, everything's blurry. Sounds like Shinobi's having a little bit of struggle. Bro, come on, what the fuck? <laughs> it's okay, Shinobi. You're good, you're good. Just keep, keep going. CJ is moving up aggressively into that middle hotel. Oh, but Shinobi finds Texas. Wow, what a great shot. Giving CJ a little bit more of a wiggle room there. Is Wound going to find Shinobi? No, Wound's not peeking that. All right. Well, we got three to four right now. As Vanquerers did lose the one on a drop. Chowie, who just now spawned back in. Or not spawned back in, but joined. Uh, CJ is going to be pushing Wound. Is Wound going to be... What is Wound doing? Okay, not prepared. He's dead, he's dead. Murder's down all up to Rambo. Rambo is playing, playing in the open. Does not want to get capped on here. Will anyone shoot him? No, everyone's flashing or throwing smokes. And CJ gets Rambo. CJ with a nice two-piece. Well done. Vanquerers get another round win. And keep in mind, this is Insidious's map pick. Uh, do I make money from VRML onward? Uh, being a player or a caster? As a caster, I play voluntarily. Uh, Money-wise, as a player, you have to win. So, uh, currently playing under VRML, I have not won any money in onward. But under ESL, 
I did win some money playing for ESL and onward, um, which is no longer around anymore if you're curious, but as a player, yeah. So under the ESL league playing onward, I won a couple of a couple dollars, you know, two bucks or, you know, maybe a little bit more. Who knows? Um, under VRML, no. I did not make my way into the bracket that would give me money. So, oh, my back is just fart. Okay, there we go. Well, we got a new new objective spawn, and this one's gonna be the infamous West Street Bungalow. You guys are gonna see in just a second here. Let's see how Insidious approaches this one. Looks like we got some uh, some fans on both sides here. God of Shinobi back in his stairwell of Middle Hotel. Phantom taking CJ's position instead this time. Pretty good uh, spread of defense here. And it's curious to see that Insidious is trying to approach from the north over here, not the not the angle I would try and approach this objective from, in my opinion. Hi, CJ. Hello. I'm now your reminder. You're now my oh. be your eyes and reminder. I'm having like a little sticker up and my height is fucked up because I didn't reset. Yeah, my, my sticker. Holy shit, oh, no. man. I keep peeking in the sky. Please. This is the most I've ever heard God of Shinobi talk. Oh, they it also out. see me. They also see me, so that's kind of... Yeah, we got three eyes on this uh, staircase here. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, man. I love having fun in scrims. I miss scrims. Bro. If we die first, I gotta tell you something in private. What? Funny. I said if killing? we die first, dumbass. <laughs> oh, okay. Jiggle peek and make it a um... Jiggles like a That's fucking no man. I jiggle like a mass league. <laughs> yeah, did we see? Oh, Shinobi. Shinobi died. Oh my gosh. One's Marsaki. One's Marsaki in buildings. Marsaki in? I think I inherited his highness, dude. Mar Marsak, you're making it sound like Marsak is like a race or a religion. Marsaki, <laughs> oh my gosh. Insidious is playing very, very slow on this one. Waiting for anyone to peek a window just so they can find out where someone is to try and move around them. Shockingly, no one has spotted out Phenom. I, I would be surprised if they did I not use I a drone. Voices near lower right truck, possibly sub room or a rock wall. Ooh, and Phantom finds Rambo, but Texas finds CJ. It's a 4v3, but Rambo can get revived. Texas knows where Phenom is this time. He's watching that angle. Ch 
Chow, he does find wound though. All right, in the one south. Down, upper dumpster. And a great smoke onto Phenom. Oh, and a couple more shots could have possibly gotten her. That was a perfect smoke onto that helicopter. If that was a nade, Phenom would be obliterated. Oh, down goes Valix by Murder Cult. Texas almost got the shots. Texas is in a great position to catch Phenom here. 3v2. Oh, Phenom Good does shot. get tagged. But I don't think Texas is aware that Phenom is still up. Flashbang goes out. Murder does not finish off Phenom, but... Pastor founds Chowie all up to Phenom now to watch this objective. 2v1. 50 seconds remaining. Murder's moving up. If Murder gets around Phenom, this is going to be it for her. But only 25 seconds remaining. Oh, and Phenom finds Murder Cult. Pastor has 20 seconds. Oh, and that nade almost got him. Phenom possibly clutching it right here. Six seconds. Four, three, two, one. Wow, and Phantom clutching the round right there. Well done. They just could not get Phantom there. Texas just was not aware Phantom was alive. I think uh, Pastor made a call out that he possibly downed Phantom, allowing Texas to move up. Not knowing Phenom was there to get that frag onto him. Well done from Vanquerers. Wind? Oh. That's wind? That makes... Nah, it's, it's wound. Wound. I'm calling calling him wound. It's been a whole, whole map almost. It's wound now. Fuck it. Change his name. Pronounce it different. <laughs> Ugh. It's wind. Nah, I think you guys are wrong. All right, I'll, I'll call. I'll call him wind. I'll call him wind. But you guys better be right. Better be right. Hopping into what could be the last round of this map. Round number four. It's hard. We got this round all right. It's been a close round almost every map. Ooh, murders push in the middle. Sandbags. Interesting spot. Murder now knows the spawn. Tell CJ Nerf and Scar says hi. I can't actually talk to the players as a caster. Murder is in a great spot. Oh, if Murder peaked that right now. Could have picked off God of Shinobi there. Suck today. 
Texas also Red missing Shore. God of Shinobi. Literally going down the lower right now. Oh, and Chowie murder trade. Unfortunately. Pastor finds Valix. It's a 4v3. CJ finds Texas. So they have 3v2 at the moment. They've got a pretty good line on this objective here. Taking shots at Rainbow. Can't seem to connect any of them though. Rainbow does try and rotate just hey, a little bit. Uh, he just ran out uh, on the east side, west side. Sadly couldn't hit him because I'm using LMG. Wind is in an interesting spot here. Three minutes remaining, and both of these players are kind of trapped in this building. Second floor, lower. Lower, your second floor. Venom is right there. Will Pastor catch her? Yes, he does. With an AKM. What is he using? Oh my goodness. He's got an AKM. Thought I'd never see it. 29812372. Where did I get that? All right. Is casting hard? Well,. For some people it is, um, really you just have to be good at knowing how to use the camera and being able to fill that air. You know, it's, it's, other than that's pretty, uh, pretty simple. Seems like, uh, CJ's gonna try and go for the wide rotation, but wind catches CJ and they get their first round win. One to three. Well, it's it's not possible to cast a match um, or a scrim with having your VR headset on. Um, you have to be on a computer to cast. So uh, that means you also have to own Onward on the Steam version as well. Well, if you have it on Steam VR and you have a PC and all that stuff, then you can cast easily. Um, as long as you can get the permission of a team to let you cast, because you have to know the code of the lobby, obviously. Um, and then you just practice casting, you know? Just work on your uh, comms and all that stuff.
on the quick spawn objective. Yeah, turn on the fan and turn the suck in. Pretty even kill spread from Vancouver's. But Pastor and Texas are kind of holding the team together on Insidious. It comes at me. I'll oh, stick movement. You can have your gun ready to move just as fast as I am right now. I'm not fucking doing anything. Okay. I don't know what CJ is talking about at all right now, but okay. They would have not. Gottison will be trying to put shots out onto Pastor and Murder, but does not find either one. Uh, will CJ be ready for Rambo on the flank over here? CJ watching an interesting angle. I don't know what he's doing. Wow, Rambo just does oh, not have his gun like up that. at all. Could probably hear... CJ talking, but just did not, was not ready for it. This is definitely an objective you want to approach from the south, but they're not sending many players on their team to this south valley at the moment. Hey, Margarita. Hi. What the hell, CJ? Yeah. That's not. That's Animal House, not yours. Get out of your chair. No. Chat, out of your no. Right now. Get out of Fuck you, CJ. That's Animal House copyrighted. God damn it. Uh, they're six minute, actually, I believe. Second floor, center hotel. Already made a new mechanic and making new metas. Ah. That's right, I made a mechanical Penske. Oh Wrong my gosh. He's locked my position. I the drone. I to my position. Texas does find Shinobi up in that little hotel. Okay. Center I think it's pronounced Velu. So it sounds like he's French. Ooh, CJ with the double kill there. Not smart of murder and pastor. That was an easy kill for CJ. They knew long ago that there was someone at that White House, and they still decided, let's just crawl up the middle there. Not the best move there. And Texas finds the CJ. Valley, right now. It's a 2v3 with a minute and 20 seconds remaining. Not a lot of time for Insidious to close out this objective with three members up.
smokes on objective and really good smokes too Will wind find Phenom here? Wind does get Phenom, but Velu does find wind as well. 1v2, 30 seconds remaining to clutch this map and keep Insidious in. Can Texas do it? And will he get a better KD than CJ? That's the real question here. Nope, he does not get a better KD. He gets a worse KD. Vankerers beat Insidious four to one on the first map. We are now gonna hop on over to the second map in just a moment. Please be a smaller map, I beg you. I beg you for a smaller map, please. Subway. Fuck! It's not a smaller map. It's a, it's a just as large map. So let's go over to Subway. Here we are. Here we go ahead and do these no bands there. And. We will be getting just a moment. As we wait to start, I will go, <coughs> oh my gosh, and grab a drink. And I will be right back. Uno momento. You know what you guys need to try? For any of you that are old enough to drink or close enough, um, it's called Mango Cart by Golden Road. It's so, so good. It's a uh, ale, a wheat ale, but it's like light. You know, it tastes like mango a little bit. So it's got a little bit of like a hint of citrusy, fruity taste to it. And ah, oh man, it's good. It's one of those good drinks to just like hold on to for for a while and just keep drinking it. Where am I putting this? No, fuck. Just so you get blind them. That way you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I plan on flashing if they come down. All right, Pastor, what you got here, bud? Interesting. Going for the good old flashlight trick. But why did they... Do you have to put it on the 5.7? Oh, I think you do. I think you can't put it on the marker off. Rambo about to get in an altercation with CJ Hubs. Definitely don't want to do that now because CJ's got a pretty good line of sight on him. Don't test it, murder. You're literally walking into CJ's line back and forth, you maniac! Oh, that was a good, good flash throw, though, but you still didn't get CJ. Still didn't get him. I'm, he's not. I'm, I'm casting CJ. He <laughs> that wasn't a jiggle peek. Ah, my eyes! I was right there. Bellu. Oh, 
Oh man, a C4 is great. Oh, Pastor choked. Pastor choked. CJ got Texas down in the basement. Uh, minus one, minus one. Hi. I heard you go over here, by the way. Uh, you think one south, south, south train, south train, I'm pretty sure. South train. Maybe. Five v three. Not a good predicament here for Insidious. Okay, murder. Having a little bit too much to drink. Wind is now down from Velu. It's a two v five. Down goes murder. All up to Rambo. CJ going in for the cap. But cannot make it in time. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice. Map to the way team gets their first point on this map. Once I get 20k points, the sound of CJ Hubs yelling. What? Oh. Why couldn't it have been a small map? Create a new sound. All right, round number two. Why does it keep clicking that? Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> CJ can't Macarena. You hear that, CJ? You can't Macarena. You suck. You suck at Macarena ing. Why are you laughing, huh, CJ? Can you hear me say that? Okay, let's get out of that guy's head. Venom finds Rambo. Oh, almost got wind, but wind got the shot off first for a good refrag, making it a 4v4. You guys hear that? It's the sound of water dripping. Shots ringing out at pasture. Where the fuck are they? They're right in the open. Good thing I'm running double syringes, huh? Wow, how'd you survive that pasture? How is Pastor alive? Okay. And how is Texas alive? Murder finds CJ. 3v3. Minus Pastor. I think there's a guy in the basement on the platform. Stage. Murder finds Chowie. 3v2. Not looking good for Vancouver's. And down goes God of Shinobi, all up to Velu. All up to Velu. I 
forgot to hit mute. Sorry, guys. The loose finds wind. It's a 2v1, but he hears murder cult. Oh, and Velu finds murder. It's a 1v1. Three minutes remaining. You heard where the shots came from, Texas. Let's play smart. You know exactly where Velu should be. There are two spots he can assume. One inside that doorway. Or two exactly where Velu is right now. Now, what he does not want to do is walk underneath him or above him. He wants to stay where he is, take this little walkway right here, crawl all the way up here, and make your way to here, and you'll make a cap. That, Or you can check underneath this and see his head. Just like that! Yeah, Texas got the win. Giving Insidious a round win. <laughs> Tying it up 1-1. One, one. It's okay, Scar. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's just one round. If you had faith, you'd probably calm down. Don't mess with Texas. <laughs> all, all it takes sometimes is a little bit of faith, man. A little bit of faith. A little bit of faith can go a long way. one to four right now <laughs> it's a big deal bankers win cj's house is in a good mood so he will teach me some stuff if not he won't want to play well i guess you have a point there i used to i remember coaching cj a while ago and then there was a point where i didn't need to coach him anymore and then there was a point where he practiced so much because he had so much free time to where he started coaching other people. Alrighty, the next round has begun. Hey, fais attention, right. c'est sur canard qui rush. Um, comment ça s'appelle déjà le Rambo? Police, le... Oh, uh, non, pas Rambo. Le... horrible throw that was a better throw they definitely flashed shinobi that one was bad cj's in a pretty good spot oh boy murder do not want to peek that corner there's multiples, North Valley. If you die, I'll blow the C4. Hey, 
the C floor. I'm falling back to the stairs. Uh. Wind finds Chowie. Now let's see if they take this bait. Texas is, Texas is trying to bait with Murder to get these these guys to peek here. Now if Murder makes no noise, they might possibly buy it. Oh, and a trade. Now they're hesitant on moving up because Texas also called out a C4, but there was no C4. And locate the guy. No C4, I don't think. There's probably one on the stairs because that's possible. You have a flash? Smoking a nade. I'm a fry. Right, throw a nade know. down the stairs. There could be one lane. Oh, you know, to the left, the little pocket yeah. on the left. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, gonna do. Good. You're smart. I love this game. I'm having fun now. I hate <laughs> downfall. Fuck down. Fuck down, fall on That person? That was a little blurry. It might have been a person. Perfect nerd. Perfect nade. Oh, he got Rambo. Got him. Now, Texas is quiet. Oh, Let's go. Nade. I'm so that good. He so might good have nade. a good Dude, shot onto one of them. Oh, no, I don't have eyes. Uh, kill a nade. Oh, wait. Smoke. Smoke the bottom. Smoke the bottom. I'm going to get myself killed. That was a good smoke. But is it enough? Oh, down goes Shinobi. That's another good smoke right there. Enough smoke to get Texas to rotate. Wind and Velu do trade. So the last two, the last one is Phantom. Can, can Insidious hold them off and get an advantage here? Oh, that would have been a great flash. Texas is not ready for Phenom. Now, can she get past her? Pastor's last one up. Pastor's is going to get shot here. Oh, but Phenom he hesitated there. She's back on her feet. All right. Pastor's got a chance now. Pastor knows where one is at the top of the staircase. This is very, 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 very close. Ugh. Ah, very close. And Pastor deciding to peek without even having his gun up. Rookie mistake. Vancouver's take the round win. Well done, well done. Sometimes it's better to play a little bit patient there. Uh, Texas kind of got a little aggressive and peaked that corner. And man, got himself shot by Phenom. Might as well keep 12. We already won. Nah, come on. That's not, that's impossible. I love this little Easter egg here. Passengers must wear a mask at all times and remain at least six feet from each other. Please be courteous of the safety of others. They go by rounds, right? Uh, to win, uh, it goes by maps, not rounds. So you can win, uh, two maps, but lose in total amount of rounds. But overall you won the series because you won more rounds. So it's best out of, best out of three maps, not best out of the rounds. Nope. Rounds is only in the IVRL 
League format, which I prefer VRML because it makes more sense. Um, so. Venom is clutching a bunch, you're right. Yeah, under VRML rules, it is about how many maps are won, not how many rounds. Hiding in the smoke. Bad nade. Interesting play from Shinobi. Oh, he does tag someone though. I think it was Phenom. What is this? Did not quite work out the way they were hoping, but they do get Phenom. With a great nade. Oh yeah, you weren't expecting that, were you? No. Will Belu go for the revive here? Yes, he will. Is that possibly another nade? Oh, it was a flashbang. And I do think they flashed them both. Yeah. 4v5. One flash. I think only bronze is maps. No, it's always maps in all, all divisions. Pastor playing dead here. Oh my goodness. What are what are all these trick plays? They're not working out as you can tell. Come on. Now, nah, Reed does not know what he's talking about. It's not by rounds. After this map, I'll I'll or after this round during or in between, I'll fully disclose how it's how it works. How teams are ranked. Re is better than who? <laughs> and then there's Re. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Re, for coming in and step and saying something. That was a, that was a horrible flash. Disgusting. Come on. Another really bad flash. What it was? What are those throws, Phantom? And a flare goes out. I guess it really disrupts any night vision that they might be using. No night vision there. Yep, Chowie can't use his night vision at the moment because of that flare. Murder is taking his sweet time. Same goes for win. <laughs> Kakashi, Kakashi Sensei. And a team kill. Check that body. Check it. Yeah, that's right. You fucked up. You fucked up, dog. Wind does down Chowie. All up to Phenom here. Phenom could possibly get a revive here, but maybe you should not risk it. There's like a map on the uplink. He's moving. He's up. You're right, Dylan. Yeah. Even even seasoned players can make a lot of mistakes like that. Move back to cover. 
it's interesting seeing Phenom use the uplink as cover because uh, it's one thing that your eye kind of um, doesn't really focus in as a as a piece of cover for an enemy to, or for a defender to be at. So it's not the first thing you look at. Usually you'd be looking at the corners here and not the objective. Down goes Wind, but his Pastor going to get the shot on the Phenom here. And let's see. Missing the shots. Ooh, the nade misses. Get some suppression fire out onto Phenom. Can Phenom clutch it up again? 30 seconds remaining. It's possible. Oh, and Phenom finds Pastor. Wow. Smokes on objective. Phenom has to peek out a little bit. Wow! Incredible! I don't know how they do it every time. Phenom with the clutch. Definitely the MVP of this series so far. Vanker was not would not have this many round wins if it was not for Phenom clutching. That's the third time she has clutched a round for her team. Incredible. just insane now I'd like to argue that Phenom is doing a better job than CJ and I'm sure some of you right now in the chat are gonna say you're insane but I mean hey the plays that Phenom has been making so far this series has been way more impactful than CJ's in my opinion but that's just that's just me guys that's just me now let's keep in, not in mind that Phenom is not even on Vanquerer's uh, roster. Phenom does not play for the roster at all. So, technically, is it really Vanquerer's winning? Huh? Is it? Is it? You know, so, so this is the real question you gotta ask yourselves, you know? players themselves uh player themselves are creating these teams so right now uh vanker is right here four of these players are on the same team phenom is just filling in a empty spot here um and then sidious all these players are on the same team in a league as well Um, Dylan, are you aware of the actual competitive league, though? Is it there? Is it smoke? Is it confirmed in there? I don't know. Can I throw a flash over this? Take that back. C4 did not get anyone there. Did that flash go over, Chewy? Did you see by any chance? Wow, and all these players are exposed. Down goes one. Down goes two. Texas does find two players there. Unfortunately, when you see four players, it's hard to really pick and choose who you want to shoot. Oh, and Rambo finds CJ. What a great push. Velu and Phenom are all that's left. And a 4v2. Oh, and Rambo gets shot by Velu. Phenom's approaching up through the sex alley right now.
Well, Dylan, the VR Master League is one of the longest running uh, esports leagues for VR, and Onward is one of their first games they uh, started playing competitive in. It's an organization where all sorts of teams can sign up, a uh, minimum of five players, all the way up to a maximum of eight to compete in matches, and a great C4 by Murder. I think right now there's about 200 teams signed up under VR Master League, and then there's another league called IVRL, uh, International Virtual Reality League, that are similar in the organization, except their format's a little bit different. They're much newer. They've only this is only their first season, so there's also a lot more uh, mistakes also happening in there. Personally, I am not affiliated with the. Uh, IVRL, but I am well affiliated with VR Master League, the VRML League, um, as I have been for, for quite a few years. So, personally, for me, in the past five years of playing this game, in the past four years of competing in this game, I have seen many organizations and leagues start up and fall after one season, um, and that's why I'm not currently playing or competing in any way in the new IVRL league. It's too new, um, and it's it's definitely got a lot of problems right now, so I'm just staying away from it. If they do good this season and they do another season, I might join by their third season, but... For VR Master League, they've been around for five years, so I'm sticking with them. Uh, you know, I haven't had any issues, and that's why I put it up. Where can I view these leagues? Uh, well, I'll go ahead and I'll give you a link in the description. If I die, y'all know they're coming from south, alright? So here is the Onward VR Master League uh, website right here. And uh oh. What happened to the server? Oh, I thought lost connection there, but. I was like, no one's moving. Shinobi's getting ready to throw a C4. What do you think about some of the players you see today? Uh, definitely very young, but they're also pretty good because they have so many players to practice with, so many lobbies to practice with, and so many YouTube videos and twitches to watch and learn so it's definitely not as large of a learning curve as it used to be when i first started great flashbang and it was a smoke that wasn't even deployed rick does find shinobi chowi does find win phantom and chubs are rotating back rainbow finds chowi Wow, and they don't peek the corner all the way, giving Rick a pretty good angle here on this objective. Oh, and a flash flown too far. Oh my goodness! That is called poor timing right there. Rick decided to pull out a flash instead of his gun. I actually really hate Paradise, in my opinion, as a competitive map. As a fuck around map and have fun, it's fun. You know, but as a competitive map, it's horrible because it's a map where you can get shot from almost any angle at all times, which at that point is just ridiculous. You know, when is that ever being competitive? You know, I don't want to have to be able to check. 12 angles at all times. It's just not fun. And almost every every uh, team does not like that map as well as a competitive map. But I love I love you, Koi's. 
my bro, the guy who made it, you know, trust me. It's not like he did a bad job at making a map. He's just, I'm sure the way he made the map, he wasn't planning on being for the league. The new maps are going in comp now. Uh, some are, yeah. A lot of flashes. Now, one thing I would do here is I would throw a smoke right in this angle here, Black CJ's point of view, and then rotate right into this corner. Good nade toss. Good smoke. Right on that objective. Oh, and he finds CJ. Down goes CJ. Down goes Phenom. All up to Velu. Push, push, push it. Push it, push it. Push it. They're on it. They're on it. Oh, and a good flashbang. Rambo's going for the cap. No way. No, I think Rambo got flashed. Oh, wow. And a trade, but Insidious take the round win, making it tied up 3 3. Wow. Yeah, I feel like when I make my mass nerf, I try to avoid extremely large, open, like, boring maps. You know, because if, if it's just a large forest with random cabins, you know, where's the. Where's the strategy? Where's the, uh, you know, where's the strategy at? If it's all just woods and, 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 uh, cabins, it's also hard to really make call outs too, you know, but at the same time, I am working on a map that's not for competitive, like uplink play. I'm making a co-op map, which is purely just for evac only. Which I just think is just going to be fun, not for any kind of competitive kind of scene at all. But, you know, I can actually start to pull it up on stream. Let me see. Pretty quick. We'll give it a try. We'll see how quick we can do it. I do know Quest Gumbers. the south staircase objective here last round rambo finds shinobi and cj downs rambo rambo can you make the call outs though So it would have been better if it was a flashbang. Nice smoke. Murder does down Phenom with the C4. Again. Murder confirms Phenom, but Velu gets to refrag on the murder. Shawi gets wind. It's a 3v2. Insidious down a player now. Advantage Vanquerors. Wow. And a great flash throw. But Texas down CJ with an insane C4. Where did that? Where was that? I don't even know, but Texas is going to go for the confirm. Gets down by Chowie. All up to Rick Sanchez. Chowie 
Revive CJ. And down goes Rick. Give me Vancouver. It's the series win. Thank you, Dylan, for the follow, by the way. Oh yeah, Venom is a very, very good player. She is pretty overpowered. Oh, man. Excuse me. Thank you. DJ finds Rick with the pre fire. Kobe finds murder on that peak there. 5v3. Shall we finds wind? What's up, Plata Pie, Millie? If you missed the game, then play it. Now we're going for the shots and Rambo and finds him, making it a 1v5. Now, one thing I will say about Insidious is that they are not audio aware. So many gunshots have gone off and they are just not paying attention to where these shots are coming from, leaving themselves ex in these exposed positions. And CJ finds Texas.
How's the onward scene been? Pretty good. I'm not on too often. I'll play maybe once a week. Once again, I recommend Mango Kart Ale by um, Golden Road. Very, very good. Of smoke. Wind finds Chowie while Shinobi gets Rick. Shots out on a rainbow but misses. Venoms finds murder, CJ finds Rambo, it's a 4v2. CJ finds wind, all up to Texas. CJ team kills Shinobi. Texas finds Phenom, 1v2 now. Oh, and Texas gets CJ. If Texas clutches this, then bravo. Well done. Ooh, and Texas dies.
god, start the next round! Holy shit! Took forever. Between Rambo, Fen, and CJ. 4v4 still. Felu finds wind. Shinobi finds Rick when because he does not check his corners. Murder finds Felu, confirms him. 2v3. CJ finds murder. Uh, all up to three. Texas. Excuse me. Texas currently trying to bait the defense here. Puts his gun down, misses the shots onto CJ. Down goes Texas. Let's end it here, boys. What could be the last map? Taking forever in between rounds.
my favorite things. Rambo finds CJ off the aggression. Breaking Venom trade. Four V three. You get one, Any one sand bag. Chowie gets Rambo. Lane three, lane three has scope. Oh, coming lane two, coming lane two has scope. Lane one, lane one bush. Two lane two has scope. Two lane two has scope. One lane one. When team kills murder, Texas goes down. All up to wind one over there. In a one V three now. Smokes on objective, down goes win, and Vancouver's win the last map. Giving themselves four points. And that is the match. Woo! I am tired. I just got off of an eight hour shift of customer service. To do this cast, I am dead. Oh, uh, and then now I need to clean the apartment, make dinner. Ah, lot, a lot to do. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys for sticking around. Uh, go ahead and leave a follow if you want to see more stuff like this. I don't see people following. I probably won't scrimcast for a long time again. And yeah, I do other streams. I stream Phasmophobia, I stream me playing on wood, I stream myself playing Minecraft because I got nothing better to do. And yeah, thank you, Nerf. Thank you, Scar. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, Re. Thank you, every guys, everyone for stopping by. And Whiskey and everyone else too. Uh, great matches to watch tonight. Insidious did not perform like I was expecting. Gonna be honest, I thought they would do a little better, but uh, this is what we saw. Alrighty, everyone have a good night and see you later. <laughs> bye bye.